Welcome to Transforming Traditions, the Arts of 19th Century Iran. The well, aim of this exhibition is to give an impression of a society in the throes of unprecedented change and the way in which the arts reflect this pull between traditions and the need to move into a completely different domain into the future. The way the concept for the exhibition was conceived was very much with Toronto in mind, where every community coming together in this multicultural society is also faced between preserving traditions and the needs of moving in the light of changes all around. So at the beginning of the 19th century, Iran had just been newly unified and the ruler at the time, Fatih Ali Shah, had the challenge of establishing himself as a strong traditional Persian ruler and at the same time project his new status as a ruler on an equal footing with the emperors of Europe. If you can see the images behind me, you can actually see that sometimes concerted efforts are made to reference the um, style and the iconography that's used in a European painting. But in any case, within the country, largely the artistic traditions continued and were used to consolidate the image of the new ruler and his dynasty. Religion and spirituality formed a central part of Iranian life and culture and it is because of that that many artifacts of the time reflect the dynamics that were playing out in society in the 19th century. In terms of book binding, we get Qur'ans that have beautiful floral decorations in a Western style. However, the materialization of traditional concepts and ideas and convictions may have a Western veneer, but the essence continues to be the essence of the culture. Poetry, literature and music formed part of Iranian cultures over centuries. And in the 19th century too, many artifacts reflect that love. But stylistically, again, we find a fusion between traditional approaches and modern ideas. The second half of the 19th century was really dominated by the reign of Nasruddin Shah. He and of course his government were very active in driving modern technologies. Photography becomes uh, a place of inspiration for painters. We get magnificent paintings like, for example, the small portrait of Muhammad Shah, where the technique absolutely relies on a photographic model. It is very interesting that, of course, with all the technological changes that are gradually seeping into the country, the intangible arts continue as had. And what we now get is that um, miniature painting and manuscript production gradually gives way to uh, printed books. And these books still incorporate many of the images that people associate with the stories of old. But then on some occasions, you get contemporary images sneaking into the iconography of these stories. This exhibition acts as a case study. And whether we look at the arts or material culture or whether we look at customs, fashions, food, 
elements of language, music, poetry, we will always be able to find influences and enriching influences that have come from elsewhere. That is why we had also chosen this particular title for the exhibition, Transforming Traditions, which has a double meaning. Traditions transform, but they also are transformed by contemporary culture.